Yeah, this is my new car. When I first started my business a year ago, I knew there was a free car involved when you promoted to the third level of management in the company. If you don't stay at that rank, they're not going to give you the money. You better not be telling me what car I'm going to be getting, okay? They'll pull right up with a tow truck and you'll be watching your car get towed down the road and it's no longer yours. I almost just poked myself in the eye. I'm going to go blind trying to make this video. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I hope that you are all having a fabulous, fabulous Monday. So today I actually wanted to do an MLM makeup. Again, people seem to love those, so of course I'll be doing them. And I wanted to vent, if you will, rant. <laughs> people love my little rants. And discuss the whole free car thing with MLMs. It's been driving me bonkers for, well, years now. And so I thought I would just do a whole video where we discuss it because again, you don't get a free car, okay? Stay tuned if you want to see me make myself look better and go off about their car incentives. It does, it drives me insane. Every time that I see a Hunbot posting up a car, I wanna scream and throw my phone across the room, okay? All right, guys, so a lot of you are already very familiar with the Mary Kay pink Cadillac. I would have to say that's probably the first car incentive company. Mary Kay came out and it was like, if you sell this many makeup kits, then you get this uh, lovely, I'm using, sorry, I'm awful at this makeup stuff. I'm using my... Uh, Maybelline, that's that's what I like. Either Maybelline or CoverGirl for that. So I'm just going to dab this and then whatever. Uh, so Mary Kay has always had the pink Cadillac. I got them like doing some work out there. I don't know what they doing in my apartment building right now, but there might be some loud noises. I apologize, there's not much I can really do about that right now, but Mary Kay has always kind of done the pink Cadillac, and a lot of people think that when they make their money in their MLM, that they will just kind of get handed over a free car, because that's how they make it sound. They make it sound like once you reach a certain rank in the company that they just hand you a car. Like, thank you so much for selling for us. Here is a car. There are posts upon posts upon posts of these huns standing in front of cars and saying, look at me. I just got a free car from my company. They use it as an incentive to try to get more people to join. Right? So, what does it mean? Do you actually get a free car? And, I mean, what happens if you don't stay at the rank? Oh. It's been driving me crazy because, as we know, cars are expensive. And for some reason, most of these companies really want you to get a Mercedes-Benz. Other than Mary, they got the pink Cadillac and whatnot. So, if you know the cost of a Mercedes-Benz, it's pretty fucking expensive. I'm pretty sure that the cheapest one you can get is about $60,000. So, for a lot of people, let's be real, a lot of people that join MLMs, we're not financially 100% stable. When I joined an MLM, I definitely wasn't, right? I was in need of money. So... The, the whole thing of sell enough in order to get the free car really scares me. And it scares me because of the fact 
that most of the people that are in MLMs honestly couldn't afford that car. And I think it's really cruel, really cruel of them to do to people. Because I'm going to show you what happens when you do not stay at the rank. So let's take a moment from me doing my awful makeup job that I'm not good at. And uh, <laughs> I swear to God, me doing these videos is almost like me doing a parody of like unique hunts because I am no makeup artist. Do not take advice for my makeup. I am not sitting here pretending to know how to do this. <laughs> so don't be watching me like, oh, I'm going to do my makeup like that. Okay. You might as well watch a, a unique hunt. That, that, the okay. So let's take a moment. Let's look at a few of these uh, car posts. I went and got some for us to kind of take a look at, of course. And uh, yeah, then we'll get back to doing the makeup. I just got to put it on the screen. Test driving in a little over a week. I'll be heading to FJ Mercedes to pick up my brand new white Mercedes that is fully paid for by Arbon. When I first started my business a year ago, I knew there was a free car involved when you promoted to the third level of management in the company, but it really wasn't about the car for me. It was about staying home with my babies, replacing my teaching income, and being the one who got to experience all his milestones, firsts, and of course, soak up all the baby snuggles I could. Forever grateful that because of Arbon, I do get to be the one raising him. Because of Arbon, I get to spend every day with my mini and watch as he grows and learns new things every day. Because of Arbon, I have learned how to dream. Because of Arbon, I've seen God working and moving in ways I never thought possible. And now, because of Arbon, my baby and I get to drive a new shiny Benz and continue sharing this vehicle of hope with other people. Heart, it's not about the car, but about what the car represents. Hope, grit, commitment, passion, hard work, and a whole lot of people whose dreams are coming true. And then as you see, she posts the lovely Mercedes steering wheel. Yeah. So think about it like this. This woman quit her teaching career, which drives me insane. One of the biggest things I hate about these companies is that they'll actually get people to quit legitimate good jobs. We need teachers and we need good teachers. And now this teacher's quit and she's working for Arbonne and she's gotten this vehicle because she has hit a certain rank at Arbonne and they have agreed to pay for her vehicle. What she doesn't know, or maybe she does and she's just not really thinking of the long term with this, is that as soon as she no longer is at that rank, they won't be giving her the car payment. So her and her baby are going to have to figure out how to come up with that payment on their own. And that's crappy to do to somebody. If you put a car in your name, it can mess up your credit if you don't have the funds to pay for it, right? You can actually have your car repoed from you, especially in the U.S. Like here in Canada, it's it's not as much of a thing to have them come repo your car, but they will if you're not paying for it, by the way. But especially in the U.S., they'll pull right up with a tow truck and you'll be watching your car get towed down the road and it's no longer yours. And it's happened. It's happened to hunts right here. What does the car bonus mean? It's a cash bonus of $250. I can use it on whatever I want. They just call it a car bonus because it's similar to a standard car payment. Great. Do you get it every month from now on? Every month is a blank slate. 
So I have to qualify again. It's a kick to keep growing. <sighs> and this is how the car incentives work as well. If you don't stay at that rank, they're not going to give you the money. Five years ago, I started on an exciting new journey along the way. Friends and family have come and gone. There have been good times and bad. Today, I purchased my dream car in cash. This is further proof that you can be successful with Amway. If you have not already done so, please let me show you how your dreams can come true too. Yeah, this is my new car. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Well done to my mama. Woohoo! So this is a bonus, the car bonus that they got. And they're like, we don't have to spend it on a car, but we're like probably going to be spending it on a car. It's cringe to see all these people that think that they are getting cars from these companies when really they're just getting help with a lease. I think that MLM boss babe says it really well. I love this meme. Remind me again who is responsible for that $500 plus payment on your free luxury car if you don't hit your rank and earn your cash bonus this month. The MLM boss babe. Go give her a follow. I'll remind you girl. They're responsible. So let's talk about that. Imagine you're working up rank in a company and they're like, okay, here's some money for a car. Just go to the dealership and you got to pick a Mercedes. Now, the other issue with a lot of these companies is that they will actually be like, you have to get a white Mercedes. What if I don't want a white Mercedes? Too bad. That's the car you have to get. Okay, another thing that they often don't tell you until the time is that when you get these cars, they become marketing vehicles. Oh yeah, you got to get decos on the car that actually say the company. With Arbon, they'll actually put a silver Arbon on the car at, right next to the Mercedes-Benz logo just to show that, yes, this is a car that was gotten by Arbon. This is an Arbon hunt. So not only are you getting a car, but, but you're getting the type of car that they're making you get. And then you are having to put all these decos and stuff on your car from the company. So is it your car or is it Arbon's car or Mary Kay's car? Or any of these companies' cars. Most of the companies out there actually do have the car incentive, believe it or not. So that's a little bit worrisome to me. Because here's the thing. If I'm going to be putting my name and my credit on a vehicle, it better be the vehicle that I want to drive. You better not be telling me what car I'm going to be getting, okay? You know, that's... Ew. That's sus. Okay, that's sus. So that's the first thing that they don't really tell you. They make it sound like you can just go get whatever car you want. Not the case. So, <laughs> imagine you're made to get this car. So you get this car. They put the decos on. So now you're driving around with Arbon or Mary Kay all over you. Marketing strategy. And then, let's say we know the, turn out, the turnaround rate of hunts. You have to consider that. About half of the hunts that join end up quitting within the first month. It's a real statistic, by the way. So <laughs> you got these hunts, they're all joining, right? They're all joining these companies. And I just do powder, just normal Maybelline powder. So they're joining the companies and they get these cars. They have their team, okay? Now, what if something happens and a bunch of people on their team decide to quit? They lose their rank. When they lose their rank, they no longer get that car payment from the company. 
So now, not only are they not at a rank where they're getting paid well, but then they also get told, okay, sis, now you got to pay that bill yourself. If I'm not making rank, I probably don't have the money to then go put on that car lease all by my lonesome. Let's be real. How many people in MLM companies actually can afford those cars all on their own? Not many, guys. Less than 1%, right? Less than 1% make money. So what does that tell you? Tells you that they're basically screwing over a lot of people with leases on cars that are being made to have to pay for these things by themselves. Cars are being taken away from Huns if they can't come up with payments. Then their credit gets messed up. Because again, this is in their names. Their names, their credit. It's not like Arbon and Mary Kay get the car under their company name and then the company's credit gets messed up, right? Your credit gets messed up. That can mess up your entire life. If you have bad credit or you have a repoed car on your credit, good luck doing anything, even renting an apartment or a home for you and your babies becomes difficult. When you really think of it that way, isn't it disgusting? I find it really gross that these companies do that like false hope thing with cars, okay? It's like, well, they do false hope with everything, but the car thing really bothers me because of the cost of a car, because of the fact that the car is on their credit, and because of the fact that we all know most can't afford that on their own. That's why they go join the MLM. That's why they work up this rank in hopes that they can have help getting these cars. Honestly, I think it's disgusting. It grosses me out that these companies, the CEOs of these companies, I just use what I'm a huge wet and wild fan. I use a lot of wet and wild. So, uh, all of these companies literally are just pumping out these cars, messing with people's credits, giving them false hopes about everything. But the car thing, again, is really gross to me. And then Huns are having their entire credits messed up over it. And I think that's really gross. I think it's disgusting. How can you do that to people and then be okay with it? And the thing that's gross about it is that they're told to post it up on Facebook. Facebook, other social media. I almost just poked myself in the eye. I'm going to go blind trying to make this video. <laughs> and basically, like, they brag about it in hopes that other people see it and then go, oh, I want to get a car too. I'm going to join her team. She got a car. And they're not honest about it. They're not. It's not like when they post up these things, they say, as you saw, they don't say, I got a car from Arbon, and now I have to stay at rank, otherwise they're going to come take away my car. Th that's not what's said. It's, I got a free car from Arbon. Isn't it great that I made it up in this company to get this car? And it's like, but you ain't being honest. Because if they told people the truth about this, do you really think people would find this an incentive? Probably not, right? It doesn't really sound like too much of an incentive when you really know what's going on. It's like, oh, yay, I can go into debt with a car lease if I don't come up with it on my own. Oh, yeah, sign me up for that, you know? Revlon. Obsessed with Revlon when it comes to uh, mascara. I just really like their, their mascara. It's 500 times better than Unique's, by the way. All right, these are my real lashes. I don't get, if I got false lashes, I would blink and then fly away. Okay, I, I, I got lashes. So, they, I just like the Revlon because as you can see, it gives me big, beautiful lashes. It's not clumpy, which is something that drives me nuts, is when I put on mascara and then it's like clumped. I hate that. And I have one of those, um, like the brushes that you can brush out 
I don't often have to use it with this stuff. I'll be real. This mascara is good to me. And it makes my eyes beautiful. See, look at that. Look at that. No punique necessary. And they're another company, actually, that also does a car incentive. So that's why I'm bringing them up. That and because they're the makeup. One of the main makeup MLMs, Mary Kay and Unique, would be the, the main makeup MLMs. And again, both of them offer cars. I'm pretty sure most people are familiar familiar with the pink Cadillac. I haven't been enjoying this stuff. It's a good color for me. It's CoverGirl. I like CoverGirl. I'm a huge CoverGirl, Revlon, and Maybelline fan. That's the main brands that I use. I need lips. You just press back, sweetheart. But where's the back button? Give me one sec. I'll be right there, okay? Mm -hmm. There's some lippies. Woohoo! All right, so do you know what? I'm just going to throw this out there because this, this might be fun for me to do. If you guys are interested and you like this lovely little lip color, this is it right here. Already, if you join my membership, you get a chance to win this, and I'll send it right to you. I'll send you one in the mail. I'll do a little draw of my members. We'll do a members only stream. I'll draw it. We'll do it in a couple weeks so that it gives people enough time to join. In order to join my members, you just gotta click underneath my channel you will see a join button i also shared a lot on my community tab the link because apparently for some people they don't see the the join button i think it's with iphones or something <laughs> freaking iphones so yeah join my membership and we will do a draw and you can win this beautiful cover girl lip package just for fun and very soon we're going to be doing the 1000 subscriber draw don't worry I have not forgotten about that it's just we keep going into lockdown here and then everything keeps getting messed up like the mail everything so it's been really difficult for me to like get all of the stuff for it and that it's like every time that I think I got everything and we're about to go, they're like in lockdown again and then I'm waiting like an extra week for things to get here and I'm like, can we just solve this thing already? <laughs> Canada's a mess right now, guys. Canada's a mess. I'm in Ontario, so we're, Ford has put us in full lockdown and we can't do anything. So, enough about that. This is pretty much my makeup look for the day because I don't really do makeup and I, I, I don't really care. But yeah, I really, really love this stuff and you can get this, just join my members and then I'll do a members draw. There's three tiers, I tried to make them cheap, although everyone seems to really like the Knights, which is the 4 dollars one, which I totally appreciate. I mean, if you guys wanna be my Knights, come be my knights just you won't be a white knight because i don't i don't need any of those and and we make fun of them here so you're the queen's knights i knight you so i found this fabulous fabulous article that kind of outlines a little bit more about the car stuff i thought we could just quickly go through it because it's really important to me that we discuss this in full this drives me fucking bonkers. It does. It drives me insane. Every time that I see a Hunbot posting up a car, I want to scream and throw my phone across the room, okay? I just want to show you guys just because we've been talking about the Mary Kay cars a lot. So this is PinkTruth.com, one of my most favorite websites for MLM stuff. Although they haven't updated in... A really long time come on guys update this site if you need help let me know I would love to help you guys with it so this is the Mary Kay 
career car. As you guys see, they have added in other cars besides the pink Cadillac. That's like the big, huge bonus now. The big huge bonus now is the pink Cadillac, or you can get these, these white ones, you know, good old Chevy Cruze. You can get the Equinox. Yay! But again, it's what color and what model they want you to get. I kind of wanted to show you guys that. Like, they don't give you an option to just go out, get whatever car you want, and then they make the payments. They have a list of the cars that you are allowed to get. And then, like I said, you gotta put the decos all over it. Like, yay. Talented Ladies Club has done this amazing, amazing article. So we're gonna talk about what happens when you don't meet the payment. Arbon reserves the right to change their success plan at any time. So basically, guys, you can get the car, and then all of a sudden they change the whole success plan, and then you're screwed. Arbon reserves the right to periodically amend or modify the success plan, the policies and procedures, privacy policy, and the independent consultant application and agreement. The agreement. The Arbon independent consultant agrees to abide by the agreement and all amendments and modifications as set forth in the agreement. So to sum up, to qualify for pavements towards a white Mercedes Benz, which is the one that they make you get, reps must buy or lease a car in their own name, provide proof that they're displaying the Arbonne emblem in three places. So not only do they make you put it on your car, they have a set they have a minimum amount you have to put it on there three freaking times they must also maintain their rank and qualifying volume of sales and Arbon can change the rules on this at any time they wish and what does that mean that means that at any time they can decide that the rank that you're at is actually too low for the car all of a sudden and then they can make it the next rank up and then you're screwed Here's what can happen when these car payments stop. And our free car, while I continue to pay my free car payment of $1,100 a month, I received a $1,000 car payment from Arbon, so it wasn't a big deal at the time. Our family needed an SUV, so the car we needed came with a payment like that. They force you to buy a Mercedes, which I always thought was wrong. So now I am stuck making these huge payments with no Arbon check. My car has imploded in value and I am so upside down, I can't trade it in. Not only that, but you can't trade it in because as Arbon decos all over it. Every time I have to drive it, I am reminded of this whole saga. And that would be really triggering for a lot of people. Car presentations are clearly just a recruiting event. And then there's a car presentation day. These events are billed as a celebration of the rep's achievements. But as this woman discovered, are really just yet another recruitment opportunity. The presentation had a lot of breakdowns on how to make Arbon work for you. This is supposed to be a celebration, but it's clearly a recruiting event. So what they do is they have this big party and they invite a bunch of people and then they show you off getting the car and then they basically use you getting the car to do a sales recruitment pitch. Hey, don't you want to join our team so you can be like this girl and get a car? This is a special bonus. All right. And this is Arbon themselves admitting it. This is a special bonus to help you grow your business and celebrate with your upline. Invite everyone you know to make it extra special. Arbon will provide $700 US or 450 pounds in the UK. SRP worth of complimentary products to be used as door prizes, drawings, or giveaways at your very own Mercedes-Benz car presentation. Yay! Why free cars are just a cruel MLM trick. Aside from the fact that the free MLM car is anything but, there is something far more disturbing about the whole charade. 
And that's the cruel sleight of hand trick that's really being played. You see, unlike a proper paid job, MLMs don't offer benefits like salary, holiday, sick, and maternity pay, workplace perks, and legal protection. No, they don't. Instead, they need to grasp around for some other tangible benefit to dangle in front of potential unpaid reps, and that benefit be the car. However, the free car is merely a distraction from the reality. And this is why this drives me insane. They hope you'll be so blinded by the car that you won't notice the successful MLM rep posing next to it is still wearing Primark. That you won't properly research their income opportunity with truly independent sources. And that you won't discover that 99.64%, that's the real stat, of MLM reps on average lose money. And they have a real life experience to discover how you can be a top seller and earn the top car bonus and still be as much as $40,000 in debt with an MLM. Beware of signing up for a free car you can't afford, which like I pointed out, most of us cannot afford the Mercedes Benz or a Cadillac. And that's okay. The lesson here is that nothing is truly free in life, and certainly not in an MLM. Nothing is free. Even their trip incentives, you still have to pay for a lot of it. They'll pay either the plane or the hotel. They never pay the whole thing, though. They don't pay for your food. They don't pay for your drinks. Like, it's never a free trip. The gifts they bestow upon you are to ensure you have something to boast about to recruit. And the free car is simply a way to demonstrate success and commit you to continue maintaining your sales level and that of your downline. So if you can't afford to pay for the lease of a car without your MLM bonus, don't risk signing up for one. Don't do it. It's even better to just not join an MLM at all, which is... Kind of what my point is on my channel. Because while you're admiring the shiny white Mercedes and dreaming of owning your own simply for posting on Facebook from home, you won't notice you're paying to join a scheme that quite possibly rob you of hope, money, friendships, and self-respect. And let me tell you, there is nothing that will make you feel more like crap then getting a car, that Mercedes, and then having your rank drop and not being able to pay for it. They'll pull right up with a tow truck and you'll be watching your car get towed down the road and it's no longer yours. That's a great way to lose your self-respect. So to me, this whole car thing is really just a way for them to dangle a big incentive in front of people's face. Like, come join the team, you can buy a car, yeah, we give you a car. Fuck off, Karen, you don't give me a car. I really hope that people out there understand that whenever they see these posts, those people aren't getting cars. In fact, we have even seen MLM Huns go to dealerships and pose with cars that they don't even have. Not their car. Claiming that the MLM has provided them with enough money to buy that car. They lie to you. Fake it till you make it, baby! That is the MLM motto. Fake it till you make it. I remember them telling me that five million times when I was in It Works. It was super annoying. Especially since I am like the farthest thing from friggin' fake that you can get. Could you see me like trying to fake this? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They're like, Queen, you can't even keep your bad opinions to yourself. I know. Exactly. Exactly. Just be really weary and know that nobody in an MLM is actually getting a free car. Even the pink Cadillac 
guess what? You still got to stay at that rank. And what they hope it does is they hope that it makes it so that you are on your team. Have you ever wondered why the uplines are like super duper on you? And they're like, come on, make your rank, make your rank. Come on, we need you to sell. We need you to sell. This is one of the reasons why. They don't want to lose their rank and their incentives. And if they got that car, they definitely don't want it to be repoed. So it's, it's all a big trick just to keep you in the company. Because the other thing is if you've gotten the car, the chances of you quitting way more slim, right? Because you're not going to want to take on those car payments. You're going to be working your butt off. And then that makes it so that you're signing up more people into the scheme. And then I'm mad. So I really just had to do a video on this. It's been driving me crazy. And all of the car incentives are the same. All of them are like this. There is not a company out there that does not have the car incentives like this. They are all the same. They just might have a different rank that you need to hit or a different amount of sales that you need to make in order to get the car. That is the only difference. Then you, with all the companies, you have to stay there and keep your entire team at their rank, which is the other thing. If your team fails now... You drop rank and then you got to pay for your car. That's why they do this. It's just another manipulation tactic to keep you in the MLM. Because they're a cult! Damn it! So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I don't really have much more to say about this because I don't drive, by the way. I don't have a G1. With my mental health, I have way too high of anxiety to drive, and I don't want to kill everybody on the road. So I just never went and got it. But my husband drives, and I would never, ever... Could you imagine me being a Han and then going to my husband and being like, Hey, baby, can you put this Mercedes-Benz in your name? My husband would be like, no. No, I'm not doing that. And rightfully so, by the way. <laughs> he would be correct. Please do give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new here. I would love it if you joined our amazing community, Spade Kingdom. Again, please do join if you're interested in supporting the channel. All of the proceeds that I get from the join are going back into the channel, as well as helping me. This summer, I really want to start putting things together. I've already kind of gotten it in motion, where we're going to be taking it to Parliament. Yeah, you heard me. I'm in Ottawa. I'm going. And we want to make MLMs seen as pyramid schemes and hopefully made illegal here in Canada. Unfortunately, I'm in Canada. I can't do it in the U.S., guys. But if you guys want to, like, join me, I can help you guys get things in motion to do that in the U.S. I say we can. U.K., same thing, baby. Australia, same thing. Hit me up. We can start lobbying to get these shut down, okay? Because I have had enough. And after this whole pandemic thing, I actually think that government will be more willing to listen since the FTC and the CDC have been driven crazy by the MLMs. They've sent out letters telling them to stop using what's going on in our world. So... I believe that if there was ever a time to get the ball rolling with these things, this is it, baby. We have reached that time. So I really am going to start putting things together and going down to Parliament. We're going to start lobbying to get these things shut down. If you are around the Ottawa area and you want to join me, let me know. Hit me up. You can come with me. We can chill. Go down there. Let's start picketing. I don't care what we have to do, but I am willing to do it because, like I said, I'm in Ottawa. I am not that far from Parliament parliament and let's go. So that's what I want to be doing with the join money. I want to put it into anything we need for that as well as, you know, back into the channel so that I can continue to make amazing content for you guys. I do have over 200 anti-MLM videos for you to check out. Over the next few days, I am going to be arranging them into a different playlist because one of my friends was like, listen, 
your playlist for ML Abs is huge and maybe you can like break it down like some r slash over here and then do like the deep dives in one because I have a hard time trying to figure out where the deep dives are and whatnot. Like recently someone asked me to do a video on Color Street and someone asked me to do a video on LuLaRoe. I was like, I do got videos on those. They're already up. And that's my, that's on me. That's because my playlist is a mess. So I am going to be fixing that in the next few days since, you know, that's been brought to my attention. And if you guys have any other tips for me, I am here for it. Please let me know. And no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you have a fabulous, fabulous Monday. Have a good day. Try to get outside. It's a beautiful day outside here today. So I'm going to try and get some fresh air and take my little one out after she's done school. And yeah, it should be a good day. So I'm going to see you in the next one, which is going to be tomorrow. Bye. I will see you then. I'm excited. Have a good day. Like, subscribe, join, check out my community tab for updates. And if you're in my members too, you get some family updates and whatnot. So that will be fun. That will be starting this week. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to it. I, I love making content for YouTube. This is my favorite job I've ever had. <laughs> so I'll see you later. Bye. My makeup look. I do it like a unique kind. Buy my makeup today. Join now. Jo join my membership instead of an MLM.